ISUPK presents the Lord's 51st annual Passover. All I ever want is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if you're not the jigger and want to meet you. Just give me my motherfucking We're going to be located at the feature. Westchester County Center, 198 Central Ave, White Plains, New York, 10606. $100 for all the adults, 17 and over. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPK 51st Annual Pass Over Facebook page. More updates will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. The Lord's 51st Annual Passover. Come out of 1 West, head of 25th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commander Jen Yohanna. We come here every Saturday to teach you blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians who you are according to the Bible. Y'all been taught that y'all was Africans, and y'all been taught, y'all, y'all was, uh, y'all was taught all different matters of y'all. Y'all were called Negro, y'all were called nigger, and spit. All these different things, but you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. With that, give me, give me uh, Isaiah 56 and 10. Have y'all seen this controversy going on where, where you had Gail King over here interviewing, uh, what's her name, Lisa Leslie. Now, one thing I got to give, Lisa Leslie, she showed, she showed shame facing this, man. She showed how to be a woman and, and how to have class in the face of a, of a shameful dog of a woman that's going around trying to try to disgrace the honor of a man, of one of our brothers that just passed. Him and his daughter just passed, what, a week? Fire, and all of a sudden he coming with an interview and then try to say about some kind of, uh, some kind of allegation about him doing, well, about him molesting or laying with some woman, right? Or raping some woman. But you know it was a lie because guess what? She she dropped all the charges. She just wanted to get a little bit of money, right? Now, now right there, that should be a lesson to black, to y'all black men. Leave the dogs alone. That's Leave white women alone. Do not touch them. Do not go anywhere near them. The only, your woman should only be black, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. That is your people. Do not go anywhere near these other nations, these Asians, these so-called Caucasians. Do not go to these Africans. Do not go to none of these other women because they are not your people. And all they do, and all they want to do is take your money and further destroy you. They come with a good, with a nice thing saying, I love all nations, I love everybody, right? But guess what she gonna do? When you go out there and go and make all that money playing basketball and do all things you try to do, she gonna take that money and she gonna take you to child support court, man. Right. She gonna divorce you, take all her, take all her money, and she gonna take it back to your people. Take it, so it's like, take it back to her people. Because she loves her people. But she tells you not to love your people. Right. She tells you that she, she tells you that uh, she tells you that she loves you, but she take everything she make and take it to her people because, like I said, she loves her people. She she wants to see the betterment of of, of her nation of people, but she tells you to disgrace your people. You better than everybody else. But I will tell you right now, you ain't better than none. None of you, the highest rich man, black Hispanic Native American, you ain't better than a homeless man because y'all all is Israelites. And y'all all in captivity. Just because you got a little money don't make you better than nobody. Read that when you got it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 56, verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant 
Now, now y'all should know these scriptures and what's going on because y'all should have y'all should have y'all leaders teaching y'all, right? Y'all should know y'all when y'all hear something like this going on, y'all hear these so-called black women going around trying to trying to destroy trying to destroy the image of a black man. Y'all don't understand that this stuff is all programmed to happen. Y'all don't understand, y'all don't understand what your enemy is trying to do because your watchmen are blind. And what else are they keep reading? They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They are what? Dumb dogs. They are dumb dogs. They don't know nothing. They are all ignorant of the fact. They are, they are ignorant of the fact of what's going on because they don't understand the truth of this Bible. Because if you open up this Bible, you understand everything that's going on today. This Bible has prophesied everything and everything that's going on right now. It tells you that the Moab, Moab, they, what do they say about it? What do they say? They, they uh, what's that? The bow? What's about? Like it say they a washer pot. It says Moab is a washer pot because that's when you clean your hands in. It's like a sink when you clean your hands and you dump all the filth. It says Moab, who is the Chinese man. It says they are your wash pot because they are a filthy, disgusting nation of people. That's why they keep getting diseases. First they had SARS, right? Now they got now they got this new virus coming on simply because they don't wash their hands. That's only because they don't go, they don't do, they don't, they don't want to stay clean, right? And I mean, I, I can tell y'all a story right now. I, I, I used to, I write some of slavery, right? I used to work with this Chinese man. Every time he go in the bathroom, he want to wash his hands before he used the bathroom and come out like he ain't even did nothing. Like, and then you try to understand this, like, who are these? Who are these people? They, they go around touching everybody else's stuff. All your they, they go around touching everybody else's stuff. Stuff other people gotta touch without coming in and washing out. I wash their hands after using the bathroom. That tells you how disgusted other people they are. Keep reading when you got it. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleepy, lying down, loving to slumber. They are greedy dogs. They are greedy dogs. That that's who uh that's what Oprah and uh Gail King is. Greedy dogs. They greedy dogs. Only thing they care about and want is money. Go to Titus 111 for me. Give me Titus 111. So this Bible, like I said, this Bible is gonna tell y'all really what's going on. It's telling y'all what's going to put what's, what's going to happen in these days. Let me know what you got. It's telling you what's going to happen these days. Because all, this, the, all these things have been prophesied thousands and thousands of years ago. Because we, and here's the issue is, we've been taught that this is a white man's book. We've been taught that we've been taught by our oppressors that this is a white man's book. And white people made this book. But no, your people, your ancestors made this book. Read that when you got it, huh? The book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 11. Whose mouths must be stopped. Stop. Their mouths must be stopped. They can they should never be able to speak how they keep speaking. These people that wants money that goes and sells out our people, their mouths should stop. Keep reading. It's like it. Verse 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. There are many unrulers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. They they go around acting like they like they know of the Bible and they know that they that they, they they make you think that they holy because they got money, right? That's what it's telling. They know of this, but they are vain deceivers. Keep reading. Whose mouths must be stopped? Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucrative sake? They, they teaching things that ought not for filthy lucre's sake. That's telling you that they teaching these things for money. That's why Gail and uh, that's why Gail and Oprah go around teaching about how bad black men is. Right? They go around teaching, saying we we uh we doing better than black men. Black men is the dirt of the earth. That's why they do that. But then you notice. Oprah, what is she going to do? Instead of trying to help the situation, right? She trying to talk down on black men all in the 80s, right? 
Then she goes and builds a whole school in Africa when she lives in Chicago, right? Right. She builds a whole damn school for Africa. So for all them girls there in Africa. But then she but then here's the here's the kicker though. Here's the kicker that a lot of y'all don't know. Epstein and Weinstein, right? They going down there, all of them Steins and Steins and all of them, all them devils is going down there molesting them little African boys and girls. So wait a minute. They gotta bring out, they gotta bring out an allegation which the man never got convicted on, but Weinstein and Epstein have been convicted on these things, right? Right. They, and, they, and she set it up for them to, uh, to, she set up the school so that they can do it. So that tells you the character of a woman, Oprah and Gail King is. They, they are here to destroy the blackest black Native American man. They want to destroy, they want to take down your image. They want to destroy you. These people, they want to destroy you. They want to take down your, they want to take down what your character is. That's what, ain't that what Martin Luther King wanted, right? Martin Luther King wanted you, he wanted you to be judged not based on your, uh, by your color, but by the character of your skin. By, I'm sorry, not by the color of your skin, by the content of your character, right? It's just so the light show, the devil said, okay, so now, so now let's go and we're going to destroy the character of black men. Right. So then now, when we go kill you in the damn streets, then now it's, it's okay. It's just life as a police officer. We go kill black people in the streets because we destroy their character. We tell, we said all black men don't do anything but sell drugs and commit crime. But all black men just trying to do is survive. Right. Before the 80s, when they started saying all this about black men, black men Black men and black women had the highest race in marriage before there, right? right? They always taking care of their families, right? Then what happened? They took all of they, they, they all of the factories that we had. They took all of them and shipped them overseas. So now a black man can't get a job nowhere. He can't he, he can't get it like so now he's stuck in poverty. So now they say okay, we gonna get start giving black women. Uh, we gonna start giving black women, you know, Section Eight. All these different social programs, right? But what's the kicker when they did that? They said okay, we can give you this money, this food stamps, but you gotta get rid of your black man. Kick them out the house. Right. I, I, I heard stories about how they used to have to hide the fact they had a man and I was there to go in the closet and take away, take, move their shoes, move take away all their clothes out the house. They had to go, they had to leave out the house and they got kicked out with a big black uh, uh, was it, trash bag. Punch out for them and, uh, when they come to come see the house, try to inspect it. But guess who they didn't do that to? They didn't do it to the they didn't do it to the so-called white man. Right. When that when that happened, they kept their families together. Because they know when a black man and a black woman come together and they come under any type of righteousness, we go when we come together, uh, 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 the only one thing the white man knows is his destruction is, is near. It is coming. Right. Because he knows that he, he knows that when we start doing these things coming together, that he that he ain't gonna be able to survive because he he what he trying to do is keep us and um, keep us oppressed and keep us under him so that he can keep making money off us so he can keep his nation together. Right. So he used us for that. So when he see us coming together, now now he now he he gets scared. That's that that's why you got that's why you got people that's every time when you try to get a move and try to get black people together, that's why you always got who the CIA. FBI got to come in and try to see what's going on, try to see. It's like you're trying to stop the movement because we're trying to get people off of drugs, trying to tell people how to, how to live right. Now the CIA got to come into your neighborhood, right? SUPK presents the Lord's 51st Annual Passover. This is crazy, yo. We in the arena. Okay, I can't explain to you the level that is. This place is going to be packed with the children of the Lord shouting in one word and one name to them all. On Thursday, April 9th, 2020, at sundown, we're going to be holding the Lord's 51st annual Passover. I ain't a people pleaser. I don't like people either. I don't care if you're not the jigger and want to meet you. Just give me my mother. We're going to be located at the Westchester County Center, 198. 
Central Air, right plane, New York, 10606. $100 for all the dark seven here in Oakland. Kids are for free. Start sending in your funds today. For booking information, check us out on the ISUPK 51st Annual Pass Mobile Facebook page. More updates will be available soon. Last but not least, Israel, Commandant General Yohanna will be accepting the men willing to stand for the Hebrew Academy 2021. The Lord's 51st Annual Passover.